Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, this is openprocessing.org and this is an application uh, written by, what's the gentleman's name, or the person's name, I don't know if it's a gentleman. Okay, Jose Luis Munoz Valencia. I want to thank Mr. Jose Luis Munoz Valencia for this application because it's, uh, it's inspiring because it could be used uh, for a variety of other applications um, individuals could, uh, teachers could assign this kind of project to students to better understand, well, not only physics and springing, but could use it as a bench, as a beginning for uh, uh, marking or describing other objects found in the universe and replace uh, the magic thinking with real thinking. And that real thinking involves uh, figuring out how to do this on your own. And that's what I did. Uh, I had to download the library for the Traer Physics, Traer Physics 3.0. Downloaded the library and I ex unzipped it in, the, in my processing folder, my processing library folder. You can see it's right there. And I unzipped it there, right here fairly straightforward, took a couple seconds. This, the library is fairly small, it's only 23k. And then uh, I copied and pasted the code, here's the original code, um, into my own instance of processing 1.21 and you might be wondering if in fact um, this is mine, I will go ahead and edit. Edit energy is power. Alright, and I save that and control R to restart it. And we'll be looking for energy is power, 95 right there, energy is power. So any student could come back and modify this code to create their own demonstrations. Now what's even nicer about this code is not only is it open source, A, but it runs completely on its own in the browser. And you're saying, well, what does that mean? Well, it means if you don't have the internet, which is a very common problem, especially uh, well outside of the connected world. Um, it's hard to get internet. In fact, there's a number of schools who just can't afford internet because the ISPs are gouging schools. And so they're restricting the amount of uh, video and internet usage. So here is an alternative. Download and create your own. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to just launch this HTML file and in a moment my banana or Mr. Munoz's banana will show up. I'm not connected to the server now necessarily. Um, I could run this completely offline if I so wanted and I, with processing 1.21 installed on, my, on school machines students could begin coding their own educational applications without requiring usage of internet. Now that is significant you don't need the internet in order to build educational applications. You don't need the internet to run educational applications. And in fact, even better, you don't need to spend money to run educational applications. Uh, and that's even more important. So take your time. Think about how you could use such tool in your own classwork or in your school um, or in your own studies. And post back. I'd like to see what you can do with it. Again, thank you to uh, Mr. Munoz for his work. I uh, couldn't have done it without him. And Mr. Treyer, I believe his name is, I believe he's a mister, for his work in the, um, in the Treyer physics. Thank you, and happy computing.